Okay, welcome back everyone to the YouTube. So for this video, I'm gonna take you through my first nine weeks on prep. So nearly like a review of the prep. Uh, I'm gonna take you through, you know, everything I've done from week one to now, the weight I started at, the weight I'm currently at, the cardio I had to do, the calories I was on, and then a little bit of the anabolics and all that side of things as well. So I have two folders here, uh, well, two sets of pictures comparing my first week and then where I am now, the current week, so week nine. And then I also have a comparison from the halfway point of week five, and then again, where I am now to week nine, because the pictures are very different. From week one to week five, I honestly felt like I didn't make that much progress but what was happening is I was just in that stage where you are flat, you're still soft because you know you only have about four or five weeks of pulling off body fat. So all that's happening is you're you know you're shrinking down, you're getting smaller, but you're not lean yet. And that was really fucked with my head at the time. So I'm gonna show you the pictures. Looking back, it you know, it doesn't look the worst, but I remember at the time just thinking, I'm busting my ass here and I'm just I'm not seeing that much progress. And then literally a few weeks later I could see everything I was doing. Was starting to come to fruition so you'll see from week one i'm a lot fuller as that is at the end of my holding phase just after you know a bulk and um, so you know at peak weight pretty much and then from week five you will see you know i've dropped a little bit of body fat but it just looks like i've shrunk down overall so let us get into it so here we have week nine or week one to nine so here is the first pick so this is front on so as you can see in this this is the end of the holding phase. So, you know, I am quite full. Even if you were to compare the two of these, you can see up around like the chest, traps, shoulders, arms, they look very full. Now, obviously, you know, there's a good layer of body fat, especially down and around here. That's where I tend to hold it in that, you know, that spare tire in and around the kind of lower stomach, hips, lower back, just that ring around there. I hold that real bad in the off season, but on the plus side, in prep, once it goes, my waist does get very small. So I don't really worry about it too much as I know I'll, I'll pull it off regardless. But this is hole and phase. So I'm just gonna pull up, if you see me looking down here, I'm just looking at notes on my phone uh, as I have all the stats for you here. So week one starting off, this was on the 2nd of May. I was 98.7 kg here in this picture on the left. The food I was on, so we started week one of prep, 3,444 calories. I'll put it all up on the screen somewhere so you can actually see it because I feel like when I listen to people, I kind of just zone out. So just so you can see it visually, I'll throw it up somewhere there. Uh, 3,444 calories, 252 protein, 492 carb, 52 fat, and then rest days was 3,427 calories, 256 protein, 423 carb, 79 fat. We started quite light with the cardio, so it was just 15 minutes post-workout, so it would have been five times a week for me on the Stairmaster, that is my weapon of choice. And then anabolics, we were just starting off with Test and Primo, so very, very small, um, and that was pretty much the starting point for us. So. As you can see, if we go through the pictures, you know, I'm quite full. Um, I had quite a bit of, you know, body fat, but, you know, for me pushing up, I feel like I have to push up quite hard. I don't really mind putting, putting on too much body fat as I know I can pull it off quite quickly. Uh, and as you can see here, you know, after nine weeks, it looks like we've pulled off all the excess and literally held on to every bit of new tissue. You'll see my face, man, my face gets so fat when I'm in the off season, but again, it, it does start to come back down. So very happy with what we have done here so far. You can see this shot is where you can really see the lower stomach uh, where I tend to hold a lot of the fat there. Um, but again, it has come off. So we are happy about that. Uh, arms are looking full. You can see the vascularity starting to come through. And um, let's look at this one, what have we got? I don't know why this is sideways there, but again, you can just see the waist is starting to come in now. The obliques are starting to come through there. Bit more shape on the chest. I feel like my chest flattens off quite a bit. Not even flattens off. I just don't have that much muscle on my chest, which I didn't really know until I done my prep two years ago. And it's like the shape is there, but there's just, there's no size or fullness. I feel like my upper chest is actually okay, but it's my lower chest. It's just when I cut down, it's like flat to my body. So it doesn't actually come off, uh, you know, my torso quite a lot. And um, so that is definitely a big weak point, which is annoying for men's physique, but look, it is what it is. There, there's nothing too much I can do about it now. Uh, I did put a lot of work into, you know, chest, but, um, Unfortunately, you can only do so much, or I can only do so much. Unfortunately, it's probably just a fucking weak point for me, being honest. 
this shot is starting to come on quite a bit so this is obviously you know the men's physique pose you can see the arm is looking a bit fuller the delt is popping and again that is another weak point for me is the uh, you know the side delt medial delt lateral head whatever you want to call it the side of my shoulder they're just they're not that round and capped again it's a necessity for men's physique and um, so i don't have the best shoulders but you can see in this you know it, it is starting to come on quite a bit again abs and obliques coming in the waist is starting to come in you'll see here in the off season i always pull my pants up over my fat hips and that is just give the illusion that there is you know that taper down the side here just so i can kind of see the shape because if i leave the pants you know fall where they should and um, you're just going to see fat hips spilling over my waistband so it's not to try to deceive people it's just to kind of see uh, the shape for myself but yeah you can see it there anyway okay so this one has come on quite a bit as well and um, again you can see the delts are just a lot fuller in this one they're popping a lot more arms are looking much fuller you can see the vein obviously starting to come through now chest not looking the worst here either i'm not too mad with the chest on this one uh not great but look not the worst either uh, and again just seeing more of the obliques the abs that's obviously where you're going to see you know a lot of the difference um it's truly abs obliques obviously losing body fat you're gonna you know you're gonna see that a lot more just a front double bicep so obviously not a men's physique shot but you can see arms are holding you know a good bit of size so that's one thing i think i do have is when i do cut down i don't lose you know a, a lot of size at all obviously you know between the start point and now i think i've pulled off about 30 pounds but looking at the visuals you know you wouldn't think that there's 30 pounds gone and um, i know a lot of people when they cut down man and they just they flatten off real bad like they, they can hold themselves really good in the off season they look great you know arms are full shoulders full look great they, they don't get too fat but then in you know when it comes to prep they just get real skinny and it just looks like they just look fucking drained man and for me i would rather look worse in the off season and look obviously much better on stages that is you know where you are judged um so yeah i'm kind of happy that you know i do kind of have that going for me i can get lean quite quick and it looks like you know you're growing into prep um i know it's very cliche to say but i feel like i do grow into prep like the physique you'll see at the start to halfway through and even of course at the end like it, it's night and day and i know everyone will say that because they, they lose body fat and you know they look different and um, but i just feel like you see so much more come out like my shoulders pop more my arms pop more uh, everything just looks ridiculous uh, uh, so from the back you can see obviously the, you know the waist starting to come in around, around the lower back good bit of body fat after coming off here the rear delts are popping through you can see just in and around the mid back and um, you know it's starting to come through quite a bit there's a little bit of vascularity starting to come through you can't really see too much and um, but you can see just a little bit more detail is starting to come through in the lower back so again just looking at this it just looks a bit more 3d you know it's popping out quite a bit like here you can see the back is quite wide and uh, like the back does look quite good in the off season it's obviously just in and around the lower back pants are pulled up you know again just to try cover the the lower back and the hips and um, but you know it looks quite wide looks quite dense 3d uh, and that's one thing you know we did focus on as well in the off season building up the back it wasn't a mass priority as i do have quite a strong back uh, but it doesn't take much for my back to respond so i was doing you know one pull session a week and um, i was doing deadlifts from the blocks and i feel like that just exploded my back i hadn't done deadlifts in a long time i ran the numbers up quite high i think the best i done was 235 for you know eight reps and then it was pulled i would have liked to keep the deadlifts in and you know keep going and um, but i think i done a lot for just you know the density and thickness of the back and um, so yeah really happy with the back progress and looking forward to seeing it when it is cut down on stage and then a back double by so this one won't be hit unfortunately on the stage again this is another strong shot for me and um, you can see you know the delts are starting to come through a lot more more striated up around the kind of traps upper back you can see the definition now coming through you know the mid traps there as well uh, and even the arms starting to look that little bit better so all around you know from week one to nine we are looking much much better you can see obviously in week one you know i'm very very full um but i'm going to show you week five and this is where things you know start fucking with me and i'll explain why and um, so we will jump back to week five for you now right so this is week five to week nine so this is me after doing four full weeks on prep i will give you all the stats here as well so right here you know i pulled off i think five over five and a half kilos so i'm 93.1 kilos here this is the 29th of may so exactly four weeks done of prep five and a half kilos gone but at this point I just felt so flat like there was no pop no real definition like there's definitely a layer of body fat was gone here compared to you know the first set of photos but i just felt so you know flattened off i wasn't happy with the look and i thought 
you know, I'm, you know, I have four full weeks done now. I, sh I should be seeing a little bit more. Like I, I could remember my last prep, I was definitely, I thought I looked better in the last prep at this point. So I was kind of, you know, starting to panic. There was less time as well to the show. And um, so I was like, fuck, you know, I think I only had 15 weeks at that point. And for me, 15 weeks didn't seem like a long period of time. So I was like, w you know, will I be able to get, you know, in the best shape of my life by then? And I just, I wasn't thinking it. But so what had happened is with this week one, the pictures you're seeing, I was finishing up a cruise phase. So I was six weeks on cruise and I was finishing up. So I thought, okay, yeah, finished up. You know, we're going on to a blast. Things are going to escalate from here. Um, but I would say there's still, you know, androgens floating around there. So I was still keeping a little bit of fullness. And then, you know, four weeks into prep, they were just completely gone. I'd flattened off. I was looking softer. I wasn't looking full. And then obviously a few weeks later when everything else kicked in and, you know, started to titrate up and escalate up, then I was getting the kind of pop and the fullness. So this is really where I felt cruisy, not at the end of my six week cruise, but it'd be about four, three, four weeks after that. That's where I felt real cruisy and hated how I looked. Like I was mentally so bad. I was thinking of pulling prep at one point because I was like, there's no way, you know, I'm going to look better by the time I get on stage and um, I only had a certain amount of time I was doing more cardio than I ever done I was on you know less food and I was like for the work I'm doing I just couldn't see the physique you know coming to life and then literally I think it was one week later everything just changed I was like okay yeah it's go time so just um a little lesson on trust in the process I suppose so uh Stats here on this one. So 29th of May, so this is four weeks into prep. We are 93.1 kilos. We are on 3,108 calories. So there is about a 300 calorie drop from where we started. 245 protein, 406 carb, 56 fat, 296, three calories on our rest days. 241 uh, protein, 331 carb, and 75 fat. Uh, so cardio at this point is up to 35 minutes post-workout. So an increment of 20 minutes, so an extra 20 minutes from where we started. And at this point then, Clen, Yohimbine, and T4 was going in, um, or had been in at least at this point. Um, so the lipolytics, you know, were starting to come in and we were gonna start losing a bit more body fat. So here we are here. This was taken on the 7th of July. So this is nine full weeks done of prep. At this point, so currently where I'm at now, in this picture uh, taken here, I was 85.8 kilos. So from the start of prep to there, that is 12, just about 12, no, 13 kg pulled off. Uh, I think it's nearly 30 pounds of body fat I pulled off. I think I've done it up there. I'm actually 84.2 as of this morning, uh, but just in these photos, it's 85.8. So we'll just say 13 kg has been pulled off there. Calories are 2,750. So we have about 750 calories. I think 700 calories pulled from where we started. Rest day is 2574. So again, that is nearly a thousand, I think it's 900 calories down from where we started on the rest day calories and the cardio. So the cardio, I have 45 minutes fasted on the spin bike every day, 35 minutes post-workout on the um, Stairmaster. So that's five times a week. And then on rest days, it's just 60 minutes on the spin bike, which I do find the hardest. Uh, from here, we have Tren has gone in, Anavar gone in and T3 gone in. So all the kind of the fun stuff starting to go in. And obviously you can see the physique is starting to represent that. So where I am now at from today, seven weeks, six days out from the first show, 55 days, I feel I'm ahead of where I need to be. And I know this is going to improve so, so much. Uh, and I'm really looking, uh, looking forward to it. So you can see here, man, this is what I mean by a really flattened off. Like the arms are smaller, sh uh, shoulders are smaller, chest, you know, all that fullness that was there in week one, completely gone and still, you know, soft. You can see a bit detail in the abs, but still relatively soft. But from here to here, so there is a five, five week difference, I believe. Um, it's again, night and day. Like you can see the arms just look like they've just went, poof, like just exploded. Same with the shoulders. You can see the side delt, you know, starting to pop out there. Obviously a lot leaner uh, and more vascular. Uh, the traps look like they've absolutely exploded too. And the upper chest. So you can see the difference um, in those few weeks. At that point, the picture on the left, so that is the 29th of May. I was like, there's no way I'm gonna look as good as I did, you know, two years ago. So what's the point in continuing this prep? You know, I want to be better than what I was two years ago so close to pulling it and I'm glad I didn't. I was, you know, I think I gave it two more weeks and things just changed rapidly. And at this point, things are changing on the daily. Again, another cliche, but I, I really do believe that. I wouldn't say it if I didn't think it because uh, I think it's cringy when people say it and I'm like, bro, you look the exact same. Um, but I really do think that there is daily change. I'm waking up lighter, I'm losing fucking a lot of weight, but you can see there is no tissue being lost. We are, if anything, gaining a little bit at this point with still, you know, eight weeks to go. 
So again, you can see just arms much bigger, shoulders, like just a lot more pop to it. Uh, and again, the abs waist, you know, after coming in quite a bit there. So this is like a little men's physique hands on the hip shot. I'm not gonna hit this one on stage as it's not really preferred anymore on stage to kind of, you know, front on Superman. It'll be more of a twist of the hips hand off. Uh, but just for comparisons, I just keep the same shots every single time. And again, you can just see there's just more pop to the physique. So on week five, the 29th of May there, I was just so flat. It was like a shell of a physique. And then all of a sudden, you know, I started getting this pop, this definition, getting leaner, and you can just see, you know, like the difference out there, again, night and day, 93.1 down to 85.8. So what's that, seven, about seven kilos pulled off, and it would look like I've gained, you know, seven kg of muscle from, from the pictures. There is a big difference visually, and that is what we are looking for, is the visuals. Don't care about the scale weight or any of that. It is the visual look. This one has come on a huge amount, again, arms, shoulders, chest, all those men's physique points that you want to bring up, they are starting to come to life now. And obviously we're starting to get the taper coming in here. Not there quite yet, but from where we started, it's a, you know, it's a hell of a lot different. Obliques are coming in, the abs are coming in. So we're starting to get you know, where I would have wanted to be. So at this point in time, I'm cruising, man. I'm chilling. I'm so happy. I have no, don't feel stress. I don't feel pressure. I'm like, I know I'm where I need to be. And I believe I will be ready early with the, the rate we're moving at. Um, I think I'll be ready quite early and that is what we want. We want to be ready early. We want to do all the hard work. Now I'm pushing so fucking hard. Um, but the, when the results are there, it's easy because I'm like, what I'm doing is paying off. It's different if you're pushing hard and you're seeing no results. You're probably not pushing hard if you're not seeing results, but look, we are. Um, so it makes it a little bit easier, but we'll be able to feed it up into the show, freshen up, fill up, uh, and hopefully bring you know a fucking sick look to the stage. Uh, and that's all I want out of this year is just looking better than what I did last time on stage. Like, I think about three or four weeks before the show was probably probably my best look. And then as we got close to the show, I, I think I just faded. I'd either been dieting too long um, or didn't fill up enough for the show, but I just felt on stage, I was a little bit stringier. Um, still obviously enough to win, you know, the, the PCA Irish show um, and managed to get first call outs in the Arnolds. Now it was only a beginner's class, but I do think, you know, just for the pictures, I could have looked a little bit better and that's it. And that's all I really want this year. I'm not going over to, you know, say I'm going to win this because, you know, they're high caliber shows, the MK Classic. I know a lot of good people are going to be at that. And obviously the Alicante, it's, I think, the biggest European show. Um, so I'm not going over to say I'm going to win it, but I just want to look absolutely sick on stage. I want to have pictures to be like, wow, you know, I've done that. I look like that. I look like I belong on the stage. I'm not just some fucking random or showing up there. Um, so yeah, that, that's all I really want for this year. So I don't feel any pressure. I'm doing this because I enjoy it and I fucking love it. And yeah, so again, you can see there, man, the waist is starting to come in and abs are starting to poke through now, even in the vacuum. Arms are looking even fuller more vascularity coming through so everything is exactly where it needs to be we're going to finish up with these back shots now okay so again back shot you can see there lower lats man just starting to pop out you can see the detail coming through the waist is in in and around the lower back the body fat starting to drop off and you can just see all this detail coming through even the separation between the bicep tricep shoulders you know you can see the rear delt medial front delt you can see everything here and that is what you want you want to be like a fucking anatomy chart on that stage uh, and we are close to that you know you can see it and the thing is my back right so it's a strong point but i feel like i hold a lot of body fat up in my upper back it never looks like it because i feel like there's enough muscle there to pop through to give that 3d look that it looks a lot leaner than what it is my lower back will have thinner skin than what my upper back will i remember uh, pinching the skin on my upper back uh in the last part and being like well you know that's that's the thickest part of my body right now everywhere else was like paper and kind of just pinching up there it, it was really thick but it did not look like it and i just think it's because i don't want to sound like arrogant or cocky but there was just a lot more muscle there compared to everywhere else so it didn't look like there was more body fat up there which you know is obviously going to be a good thing for me this is just one where I lean back a little bit more so nearly you know leaning down to the judges and um, so you can kind of just see you know biceps shoulders upper traps all that a little bit more the waist is in there and you can just see you know mid traps starting to pop out quite a bit so the pictures man I am very very happy with where we are so at the halfway point even over halfway point I have nine weeks done now it's less than eight weeks seven weeks six days to the first show I am very happy with where we're at we are in cruise control like you can see there man waist is in mid traps popping rear delts popping lats still wide a bit more vascularity in that upper back and then the last one to finish off which is just going to be another lat spread here and um, so yeah that is pretty much it 
So I just need to edit this down now, throw in all the, you know, the calories, the macros and everything, just so we can see all that, get this together and throw it up. So that is where we are now. As I said, as of today, seven weeks, six days to the first show, nine weeks, five days to the last show. And that is it. So man, it is going fast. Like I said, that is nine weeks done. I think it's like, it's nine weeks and two days uh, done completely. So, you know, prep, this time is going so fast. Man, it feels a lot faster than the last one. I don't know why. Maybe it's because, you know, it's a shorter prep. I think the last prep was 21 weeks in total. This prep is, you know, it's gonna be 19 weeks in total, so it's still, you know, um, a long enough prep. But just until the first show, it just feels like, it, man, it's flying, it's going so fast. And I, I don't feel like I'm counting down the days. I'm just kind of taking every day as it comes. I feel like I've been, you know, chasing the condition for a while. So I didn't want to count down the days. I think it's closer than what it is. But now I'm where I need to be. And I know I'm going to be ahead of where I need to be uh, in no time at all. So just so fucking excited for the coming weeks, man. And excited to share the journey with all of you. Uh, you know, like I said, this prep, I want to show you everything in detail as po possible. I feel like the first prep, or when I'm kind of, you know, starting off, I don't like sharing too much as I don't want to share, you know, my weaknesses. I wouldn't tell anyone my weight because I'm like, oh man, that, that that's too light. They're going to think I'm smaller than what I am. I don't give a fuck now, man, to be honest with you. Uh, same with like even, you know, anabolics. I didn't really want to be saying too much. Again, just don't care. Um, and yeah, I just, you know, I want to show you all the bad points of prep because then when you see, you know, the better points it, it just there's such a contrast and it'll just you know make you think wow you know a lot of work went into that like when you see me in the the first youtube video and i'm i'm in the mirror and extreme and i'm pinching that body fat and like fuck he, he was a fat fucker you know you don't really see those angles of you know someone just pinching their fucking stomach there but then you'll see me you know in the last video i'm going to take an extreme before i fly over to alicante and i'll be pinching my skin and be like I'm pinching an A4 sheet of paper. So, you know, just to see that contrast and even for myself, I just want to document everything, nothing hidden, everything, you know, exposed as honest as possible. So, yeah. Gonna leave this here anyway. If you did enjoy the video, uh, video, as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one.